All right, back to the white turn. Um, Black Dead, they're moving around. Obviously still going for the Labyrinth. Uh, what else happened? Just some kind of general moving. Um, the big thing that happened was up here, uh, oops. Sienna, right there, uh, jumped on Grit, um, who, I mean, he clearly outmatches her, but she got the upper hand on him. Um, so let's continue with the white turn. Okay, it's going to go seven. Um, he's going to have to go through Cassie, but there's not really any danger there. They're both kind of equally matched. So I'll go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we'll go with Reaver. He's up here. Three, four, five. Frost Dancer is going to jump on top of Jack there. Genghis Khan, where'd he go? Just, oh. He's gonna make it to the Guardian up there. So I think Grit, yeah, he's he took two damage. He has five, I don't know if it's worth sticking around. He has six, she has seven, so he'll be able, or she'll be able to pester him. There's really, <clears throat> the black team has plenty of players over here. He could get around uh, Titanium Renegade, but Sienya could keep pestering him. Um, Jolie is down here, and then uh, Blaylock's here, so can't really go this way without getting attacked. He could probably get around a little bit. Um, Matt Fade, of course, is up there. Doesn't have enough to get to him. His stealth's not good enough. That might be his best shot to try to get to there just for the off chance that he gets it. Maybe we'll try that. One, four, five. No. Yeah, that's not a great idea because that's as far as he could get. So he'll just end up here. Which is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but then he's vulnerable with Matt Fade and Sienna possibly jumping on him. So, yeah, let's just leave him there. Let's see what happens. The Wee Wax are going to go in. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do Sanchez while we're here. Sorry, you can go there. Um, Gawain, so he's in a decent spot to get over there. Uh, yeah, we'll just move him in there. One, two, three, four, five. This movement's not very good. And we move Sanchez. Um, so we'll do the melee real quick. The battery's running on this thing. Uh, we'll do the melee in the adventure. So grid is yellow against uh, yellow, so he needs a seven to hit. Gets a good hit. Um, red against red, so seven to damage. And he rolls an eight. Uh, so she's green against his green, so she's at seven to hit. And she misses, so nothing there. Uh, Genghis Khan's gonna adventure in the Ancient Labyrinth. Meet William. Shakespeare, that is. Don't say anything foolish. So that is a wits challenge of red. He's at green wits down there. So green against red is nine. So he needs a nine to squeak. Six, that is a pass. Which advances the Guardian. I'll do that. There we go. 
Um, I'll just put him right there. He gets a card. And he gets a flare cube. That's nice. Free action affects every character and creature within six spaces, including the owner's allies, but not the owner himself. Each target must roll less than their natural speed, ignoring mounts and such. On two dice and suffer one damage, or suffer one damage. So that's kind of nice. Uh, that goes to Genghis there. And then he gets dismissed. He goes to four. Um, which puts him down here. Again, not much doing. I wonder if it's worth... We'll put him here. So my reasoning for that is... <clears throat> depending, you know, if Sancha... If the Wax get through whatever... Uh, sorry, that's there. Um, depending on what comes up there, he could end up in there. Um, that's actually going to be next turn, so I'll move anyway. I'll probably just send him that way try to get ahead. It's kind of isolated. My feeling is once that's ahead, it might just kind of stay that way. Um, everywhere else is kind of... I don't I don't use the towers very much. That might be inexperience on my part. I don't know. I'd, I don't see much need for them, um, except for a maneuver right there. Um, and I guess if you get in a tight spot, you can heal. But so, yeah, Genghis is there. We'll, we'll see where he goes from there. Uh, our first successful adventure. That's good stuff. We will put that um, on the bottom of the deck there. And I believe we are good. So the camera's going to be a little less uh, mobile this co next couple turns. I think I just got off work. My back's killing me. Um, a couple interesting things. Um, Jack past the uh, count 10 and turn turn of fire he got another card so he has two up there um, he got dismissed up next to his buddy here uh, Melena failed the uh, Odysseus project or program sorry uh, the Mars landing it's a yellow wits challenge that's Pretty tough. She has blue. Not really her forte there. Um, Cassie chose not to fight here. She's waiting politely through this bottleneck. Um, I don't know. We'll see what Kit does. Uh, Sienya also didn't stay in this fight here. She got away. Uh, Matt got close to the guardian there. So that that was Black's turn. So now what do we do with Kit? Um, might as well move him. The, that combat's... He's, he doesn't have an upper hand, a clear upper hand there. Yeah, there's... I mean, there's not much benefit. There's not much harm. So I think the thing right now is to adventure. Um... Just because of the order of this, we'll do Frost Dancer. She gets to move seven, which puts her there. Uh, Gawain's gonna move five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm making sure I do that right. I lose track of these walls sometimes. And now we'll move Kit, his seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so it looks like next turn we can hopefully chain reaction that uh, with the adventuring we have reaver wherever he went now oh, he'll get he'll get up here one two three um, grit I guess he's gonna go up to the ancient there's not really anything his stealth is green, so that's not a great that's not a great option. Although the Wee Wax and Kit are the only yellow stealth. Um, I guess Frost Dancer is white. Might, hopefully she can roll a one or a two on her dismissal and 
powerful dismissal and send her up there. Um, so let's just move Grit to the Ancient. Um, White's ahead, maybe we can keep it that way. I don't know, Black has two people up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tempting Sienya again. He has he has a clear upper hand, he hasn't been able to take advantage of it, but say la vie. Uh, the Wee Wax can go one, two, three, four, five. They just get there, which means Sanchez can sneak up right behind them. Uh, we moved Gawain, we moved Sanchez. I think we're good for that. Uh, still no opportunity fire uh, coming from black. No melee, right? No melee, so let's go ahead and adventure. Yeah, looks like it's it. Just making sure I get everything. Um, so we wax will face the gapper. Oh, phone's ringing. Be right back. All right, I just realized <clears throat> as I was taking that phone call, um, he didn't move. So yeah, we'll just move him seven this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can do that. Um, I, that also gave me a chance to look this up. I wasn't sure if this happened during adventure or what, but it, ha uh, you can take cards from the vault during your free action. So I have to wait till next turn to grab that rail hammer. That's a, that's a nice weapon he has there though. Or will have, I guess. So we're back to the gapper. Um, green against blue should be eight. Oh, that is what we call an amaze. Anytime you roll a two, it's an amaze. Um, it would have been even on a three. So with that, you get the special text down here. First things first, the guardian will move. Which will cause that chain reaction we wanted. He's getting, f or they, I guess, are getting f four cards. Um, they're really not going to be able to use any of these too much. Sorry, I'm holding them in the wrong hand. Um, but that's it. That's exciting. Oh, there's a hammer of some sort. I dropped. A warhammer. The Scotsman in me loves that. Gyro Needler. They might be able to use that actually. Yep. Red and red. Uh, not sure if I covered that in the other video, but these are the minimum requirements you have to meet. You have to beat those. <clears throat> There's an SKS. It's not a long rifle. It's an auto rifle. So Sanchez doesn't get a bonus with it, but with his aim, um, that will be pretty deadly, especially with a 10. So if he can get somewhere up here with it, or even up here, that'll be pretty nice. And then a first aid kit, which is always handy. I uh, always played a cleric in D&D, so I like stuff like that. Uh, there we go. So that's exciting. Let's see where he goes. It's a three. So he's going to end up on a... F or <clears throat> sorry, they're going to end up on a four, which leaves one of these two might as well stick them back down there. They can head right back over if need be. Um, it might be redundant at that point if they're three ahead, but there's not really many other options uh, unless they, I guess actually what they need to do is travel somewhere to hook up with people who can use those weapons to better effect. Um, so Sanchez, We'll go on a missile run. Uh, so he's actually not gonna be great at this, but that's okay. Your first, your strike fighter may be small, but it carries a big missile. All right. So that is a uh, point. And his point is blue. So that's gonna put him at a six to squeak. 
And that is a fop. <clears throat> Just like two is always in a maze, which we saw, 12 is always a fop. So that means that the black player actually gets to dismiss or banish them. The concept is to fly your missile into a target, not your fighter. That is good advice. So he gets dismissed to a five, which, I mean, really, it's not terrible. It's either there or over here. He's, of course, going to go all the way over here. Um, you know, even not knowing what these what cards the Wii Wax just got. You're going to stick them as far away as you can. Um, oh, Frost Dancer. We forgot about Frost Dancer. I forgot about Frost Dancer. She's going to go working on the railroad. Are you tough enough for the spike driving contest? What she needs is a rail hammer. Actually, those don't help at all. But um, That is a strength. Green against her blue... That's going to, again, put her at a six. Hopefully she can do better than a fop. That will pass. So that moves the guardian. She gets a card, and then it's dismissed. So we'll move the guardian here. Sorry. Uh, she gets a card. Hopefully it's something she can use pretty well. Uh, it's a percussion derringer. That's nice. So it's a point. Her point's blue. Not great, um, especially with her melee, it, but it's something, something ranged anyway. Stick that over there, let's see where she goes. Two. Oh, let's get her right back into the action. So that's kind of, I'm, so it's either up there down here this so Melinda's down here you know what I'm gonna put her down here just because not that she's any good melee Sterling Jack isn't really any good um, titanium renegade mildly better Playlock, not not very good. So none of them are great melee, and she is, but four against one, not great odds. Is it worth picking the fight? Probably not. Um, with the way things are working out, depending on what the black player does, she can come, come down here. Again, it might not be worth it, but say just one comes down, maybe she can face a one-on-one -on -one or pester Melina right here uh, with her five her five uh, health points. Her armor is, you know, decent, but I think I think that's the better move. Well, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do with her. Yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Let's put her in there. I think she can hold her on. So Matt fade in the. Ancient Labyrinth up there. Faced a Horde of Orcs, which is a black melee challenge. Uh, he rolled a four, which was an amaze. So he gets to um, choose an enemy and then dismiss them. So I guess he wouldn't do the roll, uh, but he gets to pick which one. So if you were Matt Fade, who would you choose? So to prevent the chain reaction potentially in Colonial, Black chooses Gawain and White rolls a two to put them, put him over there. If I'm mispronouncing that, someone please let me know. All right, white turn. Kit's still gonna get there. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so that's good, it just prevents the chain reaction. Excuse me. 
Uh, the Reaver is going to... Oh, sorry. I skipped his free action. So he could potentially um, put a card in if he wanted, or I guess as many as he wants. Yeah. Yep. Um, he doesn't have any, or it doesn't have any, I guess. Pronouns are failing me. Um, but he's going to pick up that rail hammer. You can pick up any woman. That's going to be fun to use if it gets the chance. Um, so he'll do... I don't have a ton of experience with the vaults, but it doesn't look like he gets dismissed. Hold on, let me check on that. So, yeah, it doesn't look like he gets dismissed. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else for him to do in the HQ, so he'll just move out. Just one, two, three, four. Can't move into there. Frost Dancer, what does she want to do? She can't shoot from within the dome, so she can't. Uh, she can't use the fire. I I get out of order sometimes when I'm playing <clears throat> solo. You're supposed to do everyone's step before you move to the next step. So all of the free actions. So that was out of turn. Um, all of the fire. She can't fire. Uh, and the Wewax can't fire since they're in a dome. So the fire got passed. I'll probably screw that up in the future and do it out of turn. It usually doesn't come into effect at all. Uh, playing opposed, you kind of follow the steps. When I'm solo, I kind of get lost in the adventure of the thing, uh, which actually talking about is really adding to. I'm enjoying. Um, so what do we want to do with Frost Answer? Does she attack the Titanium Renegade? It's, he's really hard to hit. Or really hard, not hard to hit. He's easy to hit, but he's really hard to damage. Does she come after Blaylock? He's an easier target on her way down here. Um, it's pretty friendly down here. Do they gang up on Milena? Might not be a bad idea. Um, I guess Milena and Blaylock. Oh, she could get up here. Does she want to take them on together? Jack has two cards. I don't really know what's going on up there. My thing is though, I don't want to get too far ahead in here because then we're just wasting. Uh, she could head this way pretty easily. Neither of them are going to be much of a challenge for her. That's tough. She could go around to the modern, pretend like she's pestering them. If she stops right here, she would block uh, Renegade from moving there. He would have to try to fight her. That might be fun. Uh, my wife and son are back from Christmas light shopping. That's what all of that is. Um, she could also just move down this way see what goes on, which would still leave her the option to go up here. Let's do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like that. It kind of leaves some options open. It's not committing. It's not too aggressive. Um, maybe it's a downfall. Genghis is going to move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He doesn't quite get there. Grit is going to move into the labyrinth. Uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't quite get there. The wee wax. Oh. You know, I think I'm just gonna put them out here. And they can opportunity fire at Milena with their super fancy laser gun. The gyro needler. Um, I guess that's not a laser gun, anyway. Um, and potentially fire at her next turn. They're a red point. Not a great chance to hit against her stealth, which is... 
yellow. So that I probably won't do anything the way things are. Might not be a bad choice. Um, just going to do. I think he's going to go puff up on uh, Playlock there. One, two, three, four, five. Which puts the initiative in Playlock's hand. Uh, yeah. I like that. Uh, Sanchez is going to try to get back into the fight. He needs to hook up with the Wee Wax. Oh, I forgot about that. We want to get them hooked up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll leave them here. We'll kind of bring him around for a... Yeah. So Sanchez gets to move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there's no melee. There was no opportunity fire. Correct, yeah. No opportunity fire. And no melee. I'm losing track. No adventuring. All right, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm having trouble focusing. Oh, kick gets to adventure. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. So we'll do that and then I'll set off. Cool. High noon Main Street. The Tuscarora brothers are calling you out and they are good. So that's a white point challenge. Kit's point is green. That's a five to squeak. So the challenge is once you face them, once you get there, you can't choose whether you want to do it or not. So he's stuck doing this. Even though he's badly outnumbered. Seven is a. F Let me make sure that's not a fop. What do we say he needed? Green against. So he needed five. Rolled seven. So it's just a fail. It's not a fop. So he gets dismissed. It's one. I go there. Someone might. We might throw a sacrificial lamb at this and beg for mercy and try to get that out of the way. No one's really going to have a great shot at it. Um, on either side, we don't have any. And we have a yellow with grit and with reaver. Um, they are... Did we move? Yeah, I think we did. They're way, way over on the other side of the map. Um, black is kind of equally hampered. Titanium Renegade, though, he's white, but that's going to take seven turns for him to get there. So we'll see how it plays out. I think that's it for now. Um, I'll probably put these up.